بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello guys today we are discussing about the insulation tester and how to do insulation testing of the cables many things so this is the insulation tester you can check here is the digital multimeter and we can uh, find many thing uh, many uh, testing from here so if you want to do an uh, insulation tester this is the insulation tester c41503 it's a tester 500 volt dc if you want to apply uh, dc or attach to your uh, cables so you can find easily this off this is the old attached this and this is the oham this is the 1000 old and 500 old so it's different and there's a tester button and lock everything is here and you can apply according to your uh, cable specification voltage now this is the leads the neutral you to, should put and common the black one and the red one you should put here on the insulation side you insert here and now we are uh, doing uh, test for and this is the leads you want to connect with the uh, cables so I would just want to show you these two leads we can use for the testing so let's see now we will go and to test the uh, insulation testing so every uh, uh, safety is must so we will do according to safety uh, and now we will go to test here so first of all you should check here this is uh -huh, showing and 1000 volt okay dc voltage 500 voltage if you want to if you want to give to your cable you can check from here so this one is the most important case and now you can see here i connect with the head force cable okay it's head force armor cable so if you are going for armor cable armored and start so now the new one is uh, connected to neutral to the common and I changed the cable conductor and now I am performing the uh, testing so now you can see I push the button so now see 400 47 45 60 yeah, it's showing the readings and voltage supply is 527 so it means 527 is little more so you can see here now is okay so it means the insulation testing is good and the cable insulation is good because minimum range is 50 or 43 mega ohm okay so now it's uh, more so it's good so we can see this the nine cables we are testing here the insulation testing so you yeah, must be careful about the supply of attached according to the cable specification do not more them more because it will stress your cable and will damage your insulation so now uh, first of all uh, you should to de-energize your cable because already we energized so now we should to de-energize because uh, there is uh, electric shock uh, may happen to anybody any person I, so safety first now I de-energize you want to touch you can touch all let's de-energize what one uh, now you can see the next uh, one we are doing see this one kilovolt is the 0.61 kilovolt so now i will give 1000 ohm so one cable to the one uh, one probe to connect it to one and the one other one is connected to other cables now i'm checking <clears throat> this is a simple rubber cable because there is no armor so now i start see now you can see i put it 1000 so it's showing 1550 so it means now it is okay so 22 i lock I lock so it means it's 2200 mega ohm so it means the solution is very good so we can use this cable for our purpose you can see here it's very simple and easy and should be careful about the connection anywhere you want a connection to one side other side there is no problem and I connect 1000 so the testing result it won't 2200 
so now I am doing for motor connections there is a motor and the cable is connected six cables connected to one I do if you want to here also you can do for example this motor cables uh, um, this motor cable is connected one side for other side I should disconnect here see one kilo volt. so here also see one kilo one thousand volt I put it already and now I will show you something here uh, this two two cables is means is for the motor star data connection so total six cables single core so we want to check one by one if the insulation is good or no so first of all I will connect here but I cannot perform here the test because already this is connected with the um, breakers everything is connected with PLC and so I do not do uh, perform test I'm just showing first of all you will connect for first and second after that you will connect with the next uh, third and fourth okay and then five and six so two 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 you can change first to this one then to this two and after that this two you can check after that if you want to check like this this two connect okay and perform the test and then connect this two and this and next one so you can perform your testing so I think it will be easy for you people if you want this is a simple rubber cap it's not armor cap so for the simple rubber cable we are we should do like this it's very easy uh, I hope you can uh, learn from this video and if you like this video so you can subscribe my channel for next coming videos so now we are using digital multimeter this is a different this is a clamp multimeter clamp digital multimeter so you can see here uh, cables leads two leads and this the multimeter but here is more options uh, this one easily to find the electric uh, AC current for AC voltage, for AC current, for DC voltage, for DC current, everyone is here. Temperature, continuity of cable, frequency, if you want to find, so you can find here. And this is if you want to push, so you can open this one and use for the uh, current. Finding AC current, you can find here easily. <laughs> I will show you some uh, thing. This uh, you see, uh, this off side, 1000 ampere, 400 ampere one voltage side dc ac voltage and this for the uh, oh -hum, beef sound and capacitor checking diodes for the electronic circuits and also for the temperature and frequency now i want to check uh, one by one this is 1000 ampere showing dc so you can check this 400 dc okay you should select all voltage dc voltage ac voltage and then this for the ohm so you can check mega ohm kilo ohm it's up and you want to change from here this will change steps yes selection okay this beef it will give you beef if you are checking the continuity it will give you beef sound so you can select from here how you want to check the cable so you can check from here very easily and now this is the selection button and you can change to uh, now this voltage so that is AC as your test should be AC, you can change. This your test should be DC, you cannot change from the selection. This DC cannot change. So now the current we can change. AC will take now this DC will take. So we can change to AC. See now AC. So we can use like this. You wanna check, you can push the selection button, you and you, know, you can change from here. If you wanna this 1000 ampere, up to 1000 ampere if you wanna find uh, if you want to measure the uh, current you can change from here see now DC now it should do now uh, it's convert to AC so we can change from selection uh, point to AC or DC so now you can see here so this is also temperature uh, sorry this for the oh -huh, and this for the temperature see now the temperature is 24 centigrade so it's showing 24 23 so now the room temperature almost and this frequency if you want to find frequency you can find by uh, procedure you can uh, by normal procedure you can find the frequency okay and this is the multimeter sample so now i want to connect these two leads i want i want to for so red for to red side for the pass we are using for phase like positive and neutral should connect on calm common point okay it's a common point so <clears throat> for example if you want to find uh, AC voltage so we connect here positive negative for the AC voltage no problem if you are uh, just connection is good there is a connection should be same and put on AC voltage and now for example if I want to uh, 
up and it's only just showing the uh, continuity yeah it's okay continuity and the cable is okay the lead is okay so if the lead is okay i can find now easily the voltage for example if i want to find ic voltage this is ac voltage and first i will insert uh, red prof uh, red uh, leads and this red prof to ext <coughs> extension board this is the extension board you can see here so i want to insert now which is okay insert it and now comma neutral and now it will show it will start switch on and it will start the reading see so it's showing to 29.5 or so it means it's okay voltage is okay single pass voltage so it's okay and already i connected with the ac voltage the rotating slot should be to towards ac voltage so it will give you 229.5 ac voltage and if you want to lock hold you can push the hold button it will give you the um, constant value you can change if you want to hold so now this is same for test for the voltage how to find voltage you can find like this it's very easy and now for example uh, i want to go to the, okay the car uh, the voltage is 229.5 is okay nothing changed so now if i want to find uh, dc voltage so how to find dc voltage first uh, rotate your slot to the dc all side and put one a uh, dc cells normally we are using our home you see here so neutral this black to the negative point this red to the positive point it will show Okay, now it's read 1.612. So it means this is fresh battery, uh, battery cell. Uh, so it's uh, fresh cells. So that's why this cell uh, it will showing more, like uh, 0 0.1, 1.2 is showing more. So it means it's good. It's constant, not changing because cell battery and DC old. So we can see from here it's easy. Now also we uh, we already find uh, this voltage. So now if you wanna find so just remove the uh, uh, just if you want to find uh, ac current how to find first rotate your slot to the ampere for example my current maximum range is like 300 or 400 so i will send it, i will put on 400 ampere if more current so you should to put on more and also uh, be careful about dc and ac so you can change from the modes and remove the uh, leads no, no need now here so we can just climb here push this yellow color and keep here and it will start reading now so now uh, we can uh, see once again it's dark I, I want to clear I want to make clear let's see here so 342 ampere 343 44.2 is going off so variables because this uh, the load current now is load is on so it's showing the load current uh, one phase is like that the second phase is like 300 and the third pass showing 298 or uh, 294, 91. Okay, so it's easy way to find this neutral point. So it's showing like 69. So this is neutral point. And also some cones <coughs> and uh, back point. And also if I want to find the current from the, uh, this, I want to check this uh, R thing also. So 0 0.06. So it means R thing is good. No problem. There is no short, no leakage. Okay. Now, for example, if I want a uh, cable continuity, cable is good condition or bad condition? How I will find? So first of all, I took two cables, yellow and black. So from one side I connect with the leads, and other side also I connect with the lead, uh, black to black and red to like uh, yellow cable. I just already connected. So now you see, I just touch here. When I touch here, so it will show the reading. So look here. <coughs> For example, I connect it here, I want to touch. So now you will see the reading. So it means the cable is okay. Yeah, the cable continuity showing, so it means it's okay. And also it's giving B. So I think it's okay, the cable. Okay, the cable is okay. And the connection also point is okay. Now you can see here. So I let connect it. And I remove here, so it will not show any readings. For example, I want to find for single cable. This I took, took uh, I checked for two cables. Now I want to check for single cable. For example, this single wire, I connect here, so it will give you any readings. See the readings. So it means this cable is okay. If you want to check by single single, you can check. You wanna 
okay now we are using this uh, small digital multimeter and there is no more option only just this will catch as you catch of different frequency and also we can find the continuity also here okay like make sure millimeter millivolt okay for example if i want to find if i want to find uh, okay this this all this will catch so how will find so look here text and the reads the read is already connected so now first of all i want to find the seo page and same if you want to connect here oh my god so you will see here 227.8 so a little bit changes it's just okay because seo page uh, uh, can vary varies so it will vary um, it will vary and it changes sometimes okay <coughs> so now i will show you something more switch on I have switch off already okay so zero so now switch on so 28 29 okay now if I want to find this for the selection this the relative of if you are you want to uh, find all relative so you can find hold button and this for frequency buttons okay all frequency you can see here you can find higher uh, also almost everything is here it's very small so we can use okay and this the also all Point. you can rotate what you want what you want to find okay so you can rotate easily here this is also point point so you can see everything is here is very easy and very clear so now for example if i want to check uh, uh, see now it's showing okay this continuity is showing so it's continuity is okay nice trying so it means this uh, needs is okay not damage not nothing problem no problem so now for example, I want to go and check uh, my DC volt on uh, DC cell. So how I find? So you can see. So now I will check. I will just rotate to DC voltage first of all, and after that I will take one uh, small cell, uh, this DC cell. So in this multimeter, I will just find like in a milli millivolt not like simple old it will be in millimeter old it will showing so positive side to the positive uh, side of the cells okay red side uh, red and then uh, neutral black one to the negative side so it will show 61.460 yeah it's almost so millivolt so this one is showing more but same like 1.6 1.8 1.61 like this a little more